Hi all and welcome back to the Truth, Honour and Integrity show after last week's break. And tonight is July the 20th. Hope you enjoy these songs. It's astounding. Time is fleeting. Hi all and welcome back to the Truth, Honour and Integrity show. That was a tribute to the current alternative media. And let's not do the time warp again, please. (laughs) Uh, It's just not 2013. We'll have, um, we're covering some of that in this show. There's um, a bit of intel. There's a bit of disclosure. Um, A bit of everything, really. And a lot of confirmations on a lot of things that have been said or stated in previous shows, and a little bit of uh, unfortunate um, occurrences on the page today, which uh, is unusual, but not uh, unexpected. Um, We'll be covering that as well. So, uh, glad you're all back, and back safe and sound. Uh, We had a fantastic time away. It's only six days, it felt like longer, which was uh, a good thing in a way. And I feel refreshed and ready to roll again with um, more clarity, uh, deeper understanding of where we we are and where we're going. And uh, I'll cover some of this in in the show tonight. Right, let's get um, some of the details going. Email for the show is truth.honor.and dot integrity at gmail.com for those of you who live in Europe honor is spelt the American way h-o-n-o-r and the link for the show uh, we're on the Spreaker spreaker spreaker.com forward slash user forward slash 8955881 we have an articles website called think different dot the people's club dot org on a f- Facebook, we have the Facebook page, Truth, Honour and Integrity. And a Facebook social media alternative. For those many of you who don't like Facebook, we're on MeWe. If you send an email to the Truth, Honour and Integrity at gmail.com, um, we can add you into that group. I know some have had difficulty found it, finding it. Then, of course, we've got the, the People's Club website, thepeoplesclub.org, and uh, we may cover some of that as well. Right. Let's get into some news. I haven't got too much, um, because I haven't, uh, I've kind of cobbled together the show for the last, in the last basically 36 hours. And, uh, of course, some of the, the news I had for the previous week is um, now obsolete, but we've still got a few bits uh, to cover, or I'd like to pass comment on. And the first one is the leaders of 19 nations of the G20 summit in Germany um, have renewed their pledge to implement the Paris deal on climate change. We'll have more on that later. Despite the US pulling out and currently they're in a deadlock over the issue has held up the talks in Hamburg or they did at the time but a final agreement was eventually reached and acknowledges President Trump's withdrawal from the Paris Climate Agreement without undermining the commitment of the other countries (laughs) yeah right the compromise came after violent protests in the host city um largely led by mercenaries, I might add. And a joint summit statement was released last week. We take note of the decision of the United States of America to withdraw from the Paris Agreement. However, the leaders of the other G20 members agreed the accord was irreversible. We'll have more on that later. Um, Where are we now? Uh... Is it NATO? Now, an increase began before they took office after the annexation of Crimea. And 
perceived military threats from Russia and the rise of the so-called Islamic State. Same people, actually. And the NATO defence spending is currently on the rise. And the latest statistics show that European NATO countries and Canada, in other words, all member states apart from the US, have spent or will spend an extra $45.8 billion dollars in three years from 2015 through to 2017. Now, this year it's forecast to see an annual real increase of 4.3%, the largest in this period. And at a NATO summit in Wales the same uh, year, NATO leaders pledged to meet within a decade and the target of spending 2% of national GDP. Not military budget, total budget on defence. Of course, we've covered this previously, what they're up to. And um, this report bears it out. Last year, only five NATO countries met the 2% pledge, and the, which was the US, UK, Greece, Poland and Estonia. Romania has joined them this year, and Latvia and Lithuania are expected to do so in 2018. Other countries are still some way short of the 2% target, Germany in particular, which has been a frequent target for Mr. Trump's criticism, as we know too well, um, only spends just over 1.2% of GDP on defence. It's all about accountability, how many of each country's people, whose money which they are spending, were asked whether they chose to give NATO. Were we asked? And if so, if we were asked, would we agree to it? In any of the countries? Yes, again, it's another example of clowns deciding they're going to spend money towards clowns for idiot ideas of going to war which none of the people who paid the money want. So, NATO, which is basically Rothschild's latest army, along with rogue CIA Faction 3, wants all this funding. But the question remains is, what are we, the people, actually funding? What's its purpose? I don't recall too many wars other than what went on in Ukraine, which was the same people. In Syria, which is not Europe. NATO was supposed to be Europe and America and Canada. Who's issuing threats to Europe? So why do we need 2%? That 2% would be better taking people out of poverty, out of ill health, out of mind control. I don't think there will be anybody listening to this show who will disagree with that statement. So we need to find out what our money is actually going to, going to. There's a lot of fun and games going on in the Germanic states, as I call them. Sweden, Finland, Norway. Perhaps Mr. Robert David Steele, who is currently located in that region, hint, hint, can answer that question in one of his shows. We um, in this country spend far too much money of our money on weaponry and wars and defence when in reality this country hasn't been attacked in a long, long time.
Um, the so-called Islamic State is Hizl, ISIS, and all, all kinds of other names it comes up with to keep people confused. Uh, the defences in the Iraqi city of Mosul are collapsing fast and probably collapse now, and troops have taken full control. State television announced in Iraq. Only a few meters remain to be taken at, at the time I uh, pulled this story, um, as it stands now, which has been um, recovered in total. Now, uh, some Iraqi forces, security forces have been seen dancing in the streets, even though commanders have not yet confirmed the full news. But I can confirm that they have reclaimed Mosul. Um, question remains again. All our money for the people in America that's been spent in Iraq. How and why have we lost Mosul to begin with? Or is our money being spent on the very people who took over Mosul? I think you all already know that answer. President Trump lent his support to a global women's entrepreneurship initiative championed by daughter Ivanka Trump on Saturday. That's not good. Pledging 50 million from the United States to jumpstart the effort. Yet again, there's a whole chunk of our money being spent on what? Do you think it's going to help women? Do you think live aid and band aid and all kinds of other aids that went to Africa has helped the Africans? Did the Clintons help Haiti people? No. Just another collection fund off we the people again. So it looks like that these people are being charitable. They're far from me. None of them. So another 50 million, along with 2% of our GDP going to NATO, 50 million goes to support women entrepreneurship. How about funding women's health in this country with the 50 million for the start? So Mr. Trump said, by investing in women around the world, and forgetting we are part of it, we're investing in families, we're investing in the prosperity, and we're investing in peace. Mr. Trump said at the G20 in Hamburg, where, where leaders of the world's largest economies embraced the world-led bank. <laughs> tell you what, we haven't seen... Uh, Mrs. World Bank herself uh, recently. I've no doubt she'll chime up like the uh, bad penny she is um, fairly soon. Mrs. Hudis. <laughs> oh dear. Anyway, the Women's Entrepreneurs Financial uh, Initiative or WeFi will provide loans, mentorship and other services to small businesses run by women around the world and especially in its poorest countries which will then be bought up by the cabal companies and shut down. <laughs> That's the way it works. And the World Bank, who's desperate as all the others, is seeking one billion in pledges. Yes, I'm sure you are. Chancellor Angela Merkel, Sieg Heil, who hosted world leaders for two days of meetings in the German port city, said the programme will be one of the most lasting accomplishments of the summit if everything went so quickly by the World Bank as the creation of such a fund we'd have more success on the international stage <laughs> yeah if you've actually funded the people in the first place with the people's money then we wouldn't have to have these silly programs that do nothing for women do nothing for race relations, do nothing for the gay and lesbian group, do nothing for the blacks, do nothing for the immigrants, nothing. Provide nothing for the refugees around the world. 
which are increasing by the day. But let's uh, look like we're supporting something and supporting women. Well, you don't do it every day. So why is an extra fund required? I think we all know the reason to that as well. Saudi Aramco, which plans or could be the world's biggest initial public offering, will invest more than 300 billion over the next decade to maintain its spare oil production capacity and explore for more natural gas. The president and chief executive officer Amin Nasser said the outlook for oil supplies is increasingly worrying with about one trillion in investments lost during the current industry downturn and fewer newer deposits being discovered. Well, there's been an alternative since 1906. Perhaps you should invest in that. Uh, another clown. Uh, Mr. Benjamin Nutty Arsehole um, told reporters after his meeting with French President Emmanuel Macron on Sunday that Israel opposes the ceasefire agreement in southern Syria. Really? <laughs> like we didn't know. The United States and Russia reached because it perpetuates the Iranian presence in the country. The Prime Minister, uh, Mr. Netanyahu, noted that in his meeting with Macron, he made it clear to the French president that Israel was totally opposed to the ceasefire plan and a senior Israeli official who asked not to be named due to diplomatic sensitivity of the matter, yeah, right, said Israel is aware of Iranian intentions to substantially expand its presence in Syria. Oh, Lord. Um, hello, 1967 borders, Israel. Expansion of borders, indeed. Blaming other countries. Anyway, Iran is not only interested in sending advisers to Syria, the official said, but also in dispatching extensive military forces, including the establishment of an air base for Iranian aircraft and a naval base. Pot, kettle and springs the mind. Other uh, Israeli news, an Israeli Christian resident of the central Israeli town of Ramleh, I hope I've pronounced that correctly, was charged on Sunday with killing his teenage daughter over her relationship with a Muslim. Dear me. Sami Kara allegedly murdered his daughter, Henrietta, because he and his family objected to her relationship with the Muslim man who is also allegedly serving time in prison, as well as her plans to convert to Islam for him. If uh, you have to go to those lengths to support your God or religion, then it's time to quit it. Killing your own daughter for a religious belief? Do you really think your particular God, in inverted commas, would have wanted that. It boggles the mind. Now I'm going to see if I can get um, more details on this, but I'm just going to read out the statement. And it appears to be uh, rather good news. Um, this happened while I was away. John the Rash of National Liberty Alliance sent me an email. And it stated, news alert, on Wednesday, July the 12th, 2017, the Unified United States Common Law Grand Jury indicted U.S. District Judge Lawrence E. Kahn of the Northern District of New York. Good stuff. Finally, things are moving. Once it starts, that ball will roll rather quickly. Where are we next? Um, Yemen. At least 20 displaced civilians, including women and children, have been killed in a Saudi 
led coalition airstrike in South Yemen, officials say. The UN Refugee Agency said a village in the more Mauza district of Taiz province was hit on Tuesday afternoon. Most of those killed are believed to have been from the same family. There was no immediate comment from the coalition, go figure, which is backing President, uh, I'm not going to pronounce that, ha- uh, Hadi's government in a war with the rebel Houthi movement. Um, the best person who described all that Houthi and Wahhabi and all that was... Um, what was his name? Cameron Fally. I didn't agree with all this stuff, but he seemed to um, get down uh, a, a lot of the who's who in that particular region. Anyway, more than 8,160 people have been killed and 46,300 injured in airstrikes and fighting on the ground in Yemen since March 2015. The conflict has also left 20.7 million people in need of some kind of humanitarian assistance. Um, And they've created the largest food security emergency in the world and led to a cholera outbreak that is believed to have affected 330,000 people since April alone. Again, we'll ask the question. Why are they in Yemen? What is, when has Yemen ever attacked anyone? You know, most people never even heard of the country until we had the incident with the portal off the coast of Yemen. What have Yemen done? Out of 209 countries in the world, and you ask people to write down all the names they can remember. I would doubt very many will put Yemen down. And yeah, here we are. Thousands killed, thousands injured, 20 million, near 21 million in need of humanitarian assistance. And 330,000 since April now affected with cholera. Oil again. Word of warning, um, I should have mentioned it in the previous story. Mr. Macron, the France guy, he is um, not to be trusted on a massive scale. It's no coincidence he's met up with Mr. Netanyahu. Remember the factions. The head of the French Armed Force Services has quit after a clash with Mr. Macron over budget cuts. General Pierre de Villiers said in a statement he could no longer guarantee the durability of the army model that he considered necessary to ensure France's protection. France's government last week revealed major cuts to bring its budget deficit below the level of an EU cap. Mr. Macron had said he would not tolerate dissent from the military. Go figure. Britain has also cut its military heavily. And um, although I haven't checked it, I suspect all the EU countries are cutting their military to hand over the power to NATO. And this is what we have to uh, be aware of and stop. Uh, This is going to be the final piece of news. Um, It's a few figures that was plucked out of an article that was uh, posted in the last couple of days. And I think uh, Catherine Austin Fitz was the person who was relaying it and is covering it and investigating it from what I understand and this is the six and a half trillion missing from the um, DOD budget remember the announcement the day before the towers came down towers plus one Um, 
there's far more than six and a half trillion gone missing but it's bad enough so how much is six and a half trillion well that equates to sixty five thousand dollars per u.s average household just vanished and that's based upon a fifty thousand annual income fifty thousand dollars this means if your household's annual income is a hundred thousand dollars your family was looted by a hundred and thirty thousand dollars embezzling a billion dollars from a u.s military project six thousand five hundred times is the amount that went missing and it's the equivalent of embezzling one billion dollars per day for 18 years again that's our money again where's the accountability again where's the people's voice and, and where these funds are going one billion dollars every day for 18 years just vanished into thin air and here we are 16 years later and nothing's been done about it enough's enough well it's well past more uh, than enough is enough one billion dollars a day for 18 years Un it's unimaginable so when people ask should we vote Thomas my answer will always be no because these people it doesn't matter who you support I'm not really interested who you support. I've made it quite clear. You're supporting the same mask. Two faces. It's the same mask. The same ones that hide in the shadows that pull the strings. And you can all come out with examples of names that, no, they're different. They're not. That's the top and bottom line. Mr. Trump is neither. He's got more than a few skeletons in his closet that will be revealed. He may still keep his position in the interim. And anyone who's attained that level of wealth hasn't done it legitimately. It's not possible because the average folk are squashed and crushed into oblivion while they rise through the mud should have said the real name shit and this is something going forward we have to start addressing and complaining where our money is there's plenty of money in the, in America it's just that it's been misspent beyond all imagination and comprehension 50 million just squandered for his daughter's um, latest gimmick that's 50 million that could have helped the veterans all 50 million could have give some people jobs bear in mind there's 102 million people in America with no job that's 50% of the adults uh, right where are we going next uh, 
probably a bit short for a music break, but let's just cover this before we go into some fun and games. Uh, there'll be Intel, Intel and a lot of op-ed pieces tonight. And we may get to some questions. Um, I, I suppose some of you would like to know what happened on uh, my vacation, or our vacation actually. Um, <laughs> you have no idea. Um, 85% of it, it was only six days. 85% of it was a vacation. And 15% of it was show-related business. Um, All of it went particularly well. All of it. But there were some things that took place in those six days that will live with me for the rest of my days. Um, We were followed rather closely on various days. Started the first day. Full on military jet flyovers, which went on for five to ten minutes. And numbers of jets basically streamed and screamed out of a, a base that was close to where we were at the time. And then we went on a trip onto the island in the middle of Salt Lake which I found extraordinary I went there the last time six years ago and it's basically you come out to Salt Lake go north about 40 miles and then you come to the Salt River or Salt Lake with the dry salt bed now when I went there six years ago there's like a, a road bridge that's about seven or nine miles long that goes onto the island called Antelope Island. The on the right hand side for about a mile was pure salt. All the way down until probably the last half a mile it became more water. Very salty water I might add. And uh, to my astonishment I had to drive about five miles to see the salt because it's all grown over with grass which I find extraordinary because there was none there six years ago so that was a a nice surprise now on the way back um, (laughs) um, as we headed the jets came out again in groups of two either side of the car in three rows so that was um, a bit of fun but it wasn't just military flybys either now I will post an example of what else was flying by whilst I was on we were on that island during the music break Um, you want this Wanted disclosure, you will get it. Now, we also visited a town, which at this point shall remain unnamed, which is one of the most extreme, strangest experiences I've ever had in my life. Uh, I was spoken to by the mountains. Which is not something I've experienced before. We were visited by spirits, which was caught on camera. And a woman appeared behind me, the table behind me, which my table and my chair was blocking. So she had to go around me or move my chair to get into that table just appeared out of thin air and sat down but never entered the shop Um, the townspeople there are the most curious I have to say Um, 
I was looking back over the, some of the pictures that I took. I took about six to eight pictures of that town in particular. And there's people in the foreground and people in the background. I took up the road, down the road, sideways, some of the little side streets, all of which were dirt track. The only asphalt was the main single road through the town which basically you drive through in 90 seconds. Not one person in the picture is facing me. They're all walking away. Now those pictures were taken over a period of a couple of hours. Um, that was odd enough. But this town itself is littered with portals. Yes, those type of portals. Both good and bad. Shadow beams. Not good. <laughs> so it was a bit like um, heaven and hell, if you like. Similar. And then I got some background on this particular town, which is in essence, it is a movie set. It looks like a movie set. And the town is run like a movie set. Every four months, all the inhabitants of that town get memory wiped. So they can't remember who they work for or what goes on. Every four months. And the whole town, like I said, is, re resembles a movie set. And the people are the actors. They just don't know that they are. And um, as you walk through it, you're almost um, not in current time. Because as you, as you look around, you realize that everything is either in the late 1800s or the early 1900s it's um extraordinary <laughs> to say the least um so we had quite an entourage following us on which is captured on camera on most days like I said, uh, those six days will live long in the memory. Right, I'm going to have a music break. And during the music break, I'm going to post the main picture. And you're probably going to end up being this song. Hi all and welcome back to the second hour of the show. Um... I hope you've all seen the, uh, <laughs> that was uh, quite an extraordinary event. It wasn't the only one. I do have other pictures. But probably, uh, once you zoom in on that, it becomes rather clear. It's not fuzzy, it's not blurry. It just is what it is. It was right in front of both of us. Um, there's another picture with... Probably um, two very, very clear ones, and as much as eight others that are potential. It, it was um, expected from my own intuition that I would see or allowed to be seen. And uh, it kind of passed my expectations. A bit of a shock. But it's to most people. Um, I just wish there was others in the community who made extraordinary claims about meeting ETs and come back with no evidence. This show provides it. <laughs> Right, 
we're going to go into some intel and then I've got a lot of op-ed stuff to cover I'm going to read out the two up latest updates for the people who don't have the Facebook or MeWe and uh, maybe explain why I said what I said in the, those and then we'll cover some of the, the time warp <laughs> <laughs> let's do the time warp again or rather let's not right I was expecting this to be in the news there'll be some breakout from one particular news thread but um, whilst I haven't been checking in depth was um, been busy with other things um, NATO shot down a Russian jet two weeks ago. This would have been in last week's show. But as there was no show last week, uh, in a, a, another attempt, which has failed, to create war again. But this is why I did the story about NATO and the spending. This is what they're spending our money on basically country dick swinging that has no benefit for the people none whatsoever has the American people seen the benefit of Iraqi oil no all our money spent on smashing Iraq into oblivion and then oh we have to uh, rebuild it again with our money And um, that led to some particular feisty exchanges inside the G20 meeting. So you will have seen the interaction between Putin and uh, Zeke Heil woman, Mrs. Merkel. It wasn't the only one. It got quite fiery from what I've been told. Um, G20 again now I covered it in the news story but that's the public version the uh, Intel real version is this the 19 countries outside of America were all threatened in the G20 and they've attempted to bar the other countries outside of the US from exiting the Paris Agreement the fallout from that has not yet re been realised time for those countries to grow a set and the people in power to step out of the regime NATO et al UN both of them Rothschilds have no real power anymore it's only what we provide people have had enough of their fun and games and agreements which um, is not in agreement with we the people the Paris Agreement not only um, pushes funds towards NATO but they also wanted 30% of every country's GDP and control full control of all countries in ground resources Now the ones who signed up for it were all given backhanded deals, bonuses, donations to do so. We do have the evidence. Those people better unsign it on behalf of all the people and quickly. 
just when you thought things couldn't get any more stupid, up pops the clowns. I want to pause before I read this because I'm <laughs> it still makes me uh, laugh at the stupidity of it. Um, this is Intel, by the way, direct Intel. Um, the clowns, fresh from failing at the RV attempts of, what was it now, about a thousand and eighteen times, I've now been promised something else. A, wait for it, a delivery of American money promised to them by ETs from another dimension. Yes, you heard that right. The clowns are waiting on delivery of money from another dimension. Message to those people. Do you really think uh, that currency will be the same? <laughs> you know? Are they going to have US dollars or British pounds in another dimension? And have you not forgotten or are you too stupid to know if it's from a different dimension? You may not be able to see or feel it. Oops. Each density dimension you go up, you are 10% of what you were in the previous one. So, if you go up three dimensions, you are north point north one. Do you really think you're going to be able to see the money? <laughs> oh dear me. We're waiting on a delivery. <laughs> I'm not even the dimensions. These people are certifiable. And these are people who are running our country. Dear me. Keystone Pipeline. We haven't mentioned that in a bit. Now, uh, the only purpose this was for, which um, doesn't augur too well for Mr. Trump, is the purpose was to deliver the oil into America to create an oil-based asset system remember the dinars we said last year same thing and it was to turn it into a new oil backed currency for America this is that TRN crap again it's not our currency it's theirs again fiat and so like Iraq and its dinars it's all part of a giant fiat based currency scam again. So why are they doing this? Good question. And the reason they're doing it was because the rest of the world has decided to no longer accept dollars, petro or otherwise as legal currency. Why do you think the Asians are buying things left, right and centre all over the world? to get rid of their dollars bear in mind um, when was it three years ago it was stated that 80% of all US dollars were in Asian hands so they've decided that they're not going to Accept the dollars, petrol or otherwise as a legal currency as it is not supported by any asset based method none so basically what it's telling you is America is bankrupt completely of course those who listen to this show and others will have known that and has been bankrupt for a long time with no assets to support a currency 
Federal Reserve dollar is not supported by anything. And basically, we, they have stolen all the American assets and given us monopoly money. And we allowed it. And once they got their foot under the table, courtesy of treason by the US Congress back in 1913, 20 years later, they rolled all the debts onto the people. The people have been used as collateral since 1933, who were then rolled into paying illegal income taxes. Our birth certificates traded. And yet, Steve, still, even after all that, we have some people who have traded their bogus currency for fresh air currencies. Not a scam. Now called cryptocurrencies, or more like tales of the crypt zero currency. You know, are we all that desperate and insane to allow all of the above to happen against us? Where's the collective outrage in all this? How and why have we allowed ourselves to be raped of our homes, lifestyles, livelihoods, inheritance, and yet still vote for the same system, the same people who have done this to us? I would say enough of this insanity and time to take back our dignity and ultimately our own personal responsibility in what is a complete charade. Next, Intel. John McCain's health issues are a smokescreen. He has been removed. By Squirrel Chops. Um... You'll remember, or you might do, unless you've been, uh, you live in that particular town, you've had uh, your memory wiped. <laughs> um, we spoke of the clowns trying to empty Chase asset accounts, all of them, in a desperate attempt to stay in the game. Do you think it ended there? Well, that failed. So, like the bad penny again, it turns up again. They tried it again today. Bank of America glitches were due to an attempt by the Rothschilds to steal all of the money out of Bank of America and try to get allocations against it in British pounds and South African rand. It was unsuccessful and um, our people pretty much restored it close to noon time today. Failed again, Mr. Rothschild. One day, somebody might make him fail permanently. We can only wish and hope things are going an awful lot smoother if the clowns or the badgers in this country didn't think that the Rothschilds were some sort of god. Nasty one up there. Right. We're going to go into some pieces that I would like to cover in this show. Um, I'm going to read out the two updates I did while I, while I was... Just before I went away and one while I was away. Because it gives people... It needs to stick in people's thought patterns of what is currently taking place now and uh, the 2013 anomaly which has been mentioned in this show over lightly two years ago a bit more than 16 and more so recently and it's been covered fairly extensively by both Randy Morgans and I and boy is it in full swing 
And basically what's happened is all the players and the actors are returning now to play out their final scenes in a failed movie. One hopes we see, in inverted commas, through their illusionary masks better this time than we did four years ago. You will find articles will be repeated. Various narratives from that time also will be relayed in a manner like it's all new and relative to the now. It's not. With the passing of 2016 and a failure again of the clowns, wannabes and psychopaths and their lunatic schemes of control and the complete subjugation of all living souls on this planet, we and they now have a blank slate to create a new way. Think about that. I'm going to point it out. And yes, the clowns will have to adapt to the new way also. They have no choice going forward, as they are stuck here whether they like it or not. I hope you like lemons, Cabal, because you're going to be devouring them. Events that should have been played out and exposures in in 2013 will play out now. Those not operating in the better and new way will be exposed and will also expose themselves. You may have seen evidence on the page of that today. This should have taken place in 2013. On January the 1st, 2013, or now January the 1st, 2017, this planet has the opportunity to create, if you remember who you are, or what you are, a new and better way of living, not existing. For the betterment of all, the looking glass technology proved that fact. The screen went blank. On January the 1st, coinciding with the end of the Mayan calendar, which is not a coincidence, the screen going blank does not mean the catastrophic end of days the fear porn programmers would have you believe, unless that is what we choose it to be. Think about that. Think long and hard about that last sentence. You want all the drama, war, strife in your life? Then carry on manifesting it. Or do you want to see a real change? The changes you all want are all within you. We all fell for the illusion outside of us. Now do we carry on in illusion? Or do we face reality and be the real change? The hero of the day was never governments, gurus, bloodlines, royalty, neo, or ETs. The hero of the day was always you. Not me. You, each and every one of you. It's time you remembered that and learned to fly. Now the second update I do, did will roll into some of the op-ed pieces that I want to cover on bury certain groups or people because I've had enough of their bullshittery for the last four years. <laughs> Um, the second update was there was a lot a lot of chatter on Blue Avians, which is total bullshit, 100%. And the OPPT crew return, or Oops PT. It's time to let it go, people. Danny and their entourage are the old paradigm. They're stuck in the old time loop. This is why they're putting out the same stuff from four years ago. They are stuck in the holographic four-year loop matrix and will stay there. We just have to cut the cord and cast them adrift. 
listen to this next sentence because it's something you really need to take on board we time and the organic living souls here have moved on to a different world currently we are in the transition phase as I see it and operating in two worlds as we release the old ways and paradigms more of the new world will be seen and also felt more of your own masks will reveal the illusion you have allowed to be part of the real you may see different sides of people both good and bad revealed in its truest and raw form operate from the heart in we and us not in the I and my be service of the self to be able to then to be service towards others the future is now the future was us so those two statements cover some of the fun and games of the 2013 anomaly the four year loop four year cheat in time that they inserted into this system like 2012 it failed 2012 wasn't the be all and end all that Mr Wilcock and others was propagating it was their end to complete their portion of the game they failed their contract with the Draco ran out on December 31st 2012 they didn't complete it they rolled in a four year cheat to 2016 to make 2016 look like 2012 again it failed everything they're doing on a big scale is failing I've been saying this now for the last two years it failed more and more of their minions the lower end people are now seeing what we've been telling them all along you're not getting your control system you're not getting your fancy titles and even if you do they don't mean jack shit Mr Obama is finding that out now going around playing Pindar except no one will listen to him flitting all around the world so the title no longer means Jack good luck with that Mr Obama no one's but like Prince Charles and his uh, flapping ears as well as his flapping gums nobody's listened to him either they have no power anymore because sufficient people have woken up and decided we've had enough that's all it took at the end of the day I told that to Drake three years ago four years maybe we don't have to do violence we just have to not comply we just have to seek out the truth the truth then erodes the control system it always does when people say oh, that all sounds too simple it has to be complicated it has to be hard no it doesn't nothing's complicated or hard in life everything is simple we just make it complicated now in a previous update to those two I made a statement that only you judge the you and this is part of the 
masks of illusion that we've all put up to cover insecurity, cover ego, or out of balance ego, cover shyness, fears, trauma, and we put on a facade, a face hard to the rest of the world that maybe everything's okay when it's not and maybe everything's disastrous when it's not some people like to make out they're rather wealthy but the reality is it's only on the back of a credit card again it's an illusion isn't it and we've all done it those masks where you think people are nice when hidden below the surface they're not are all coming down if you are genuine and you've dealt with your done your inner work and done your shadow shots you have nothing to worry about except the horror in watching the rest of the people drop their masks it's not going to be pleasant because the reality is very few people are really genuine I wish that statement was not true but it is what it is you've seen far too much in the alternative community people making statements there trying to help others when in, in reality all they're doing is saving themselves that's a mask of illusion but those masks are not going to last anymore they're going to melt away and the raw versions of all people not just the cabal will pour forward it has to be that way I said in a previous show how can we demand truth and to be all knowing if we lie to ourselves to the levels we do You just can't so like I've said previous truth is painful brutally painful at times to us all like every American child when he goes a uh, female child that goes to school virtually all young female American girls are told they are a princess and then they get into school and find out so is everyone else that's not fair on that child they might be to you your grandchildren or your children but it's putting that child on a pedestal which is an illusion the child's still special as all children are once you start making them appear to be more special than others that's when the issue starts for the child because the child then has to live up to that image and ultimately if it fails because others are more princessy than others that child then goes into trauma mode she may not be as pretty as the next princess may not have as be as clever or not as good at sport but this is what happens when you start boxing people up and elevating them we all like encouragement but that type is going too far and so we're 
setting a child up to fail or to accept disappointment some people don't like disappointment and then they go into their own inner world introverted quiet, shy away from the group unable to mix it's damaging so only you judge you and not as the religious dogma has told you that some man sitting in a cloud or at pearly gates is waiting to pass judgment upon you that's rubbish and all unlike what was stated on the page today by Orb Tellers we're not in a tribunal period that is not a correct statement and again it's a damaging one Now, I'm going to read out some of what has reared its really ugly head in the past month. I did warn of it. I'd still rather be wrong than right. But now, the same clowns, the OPPT. Now, some background on that. These people came out 2012-ish and was exposed in 13 for being scam artists by Drake, I, and also, give uh, credit where it's due, Neil Keen. Now, the leader of this particular group is a person who goes by the name of Heather and Tucci Giraffe. Now, Tucci is a Italian name. Now, Italian names come under two categories. But the ones with the Italian names ending in I signify Rome Mafia lineage. The Italian names ending in O is the Sicilian Mafia. So Miss Heather Ann Tucci has a Rome Mafia lineage name. Heather is also an attorney, go figure, in Washington State but also has a shipping and cargo business registration. Now, funny enough, there's also a ship called Al Giraffe, which is her last name. Tushi Giraffe. I would suggest that that is related to her husband, the ship. But I haven't got a 100% confirm. But there's a ship called Al Giraffe, which, funny enough, is a dredging ship. And yes, Heather, Danny the Effing McKenney, Lisa Harrison, Brian Kelly, Caleb Paul Skinner, and Hollis Randall Hilner. All of you are like the ship's name's purpose. You are bottom dwellers. Dredging up bullshittery of the highest order. Period. And so, what we've got here is a legal group and a maritime background with an Italian name. Mafia name for that. All sounds very reminiscent of the Vatican control system of birth certificates and the maritime law bullshittery, does it not? A case of new boss, same as the old boss, but let's switch the names around so the public won't get it. 
Now the name Tushi and the meaning of it is as follows. You like to control everyone within your influence to shape things to your own liking. Yes, Heather and Tushi Giraffe. It's all in your name. Except you're not controlling us. Period. Now this is a statement from 2013. You'll see some familiar names. And um, yes, I've got it ready. Uh, where are we? The public trust does give absolute gratitude and grace in absolute love and peace to the B, capital B, capital E, Ings. Remember all that being and doing bullshittery. Well, it's back. Um, known as Poof, also American Kabuki, Cowell Apelle, and Brian, Brian Kelly. You can also add Stillness in the Storm, who was also promoting these particular clowns. Mr. Justin Deschamp appears again, it seems. Four years later, with another bullshit story. So, OPPT are thanking these particular people for promoting them. But we've all promoted wrong things, myself included. Um, but you stand and correct it. You don't continue it. So they're thanking them for saving the highest good of the one. In unconsciously revealing the point of origin of the boots on the ground attempting to implement these purported interim governments, all in capital letters, slavery systems reorganized under code and cancelled entity and its constitution, comma, United States of America, all capital letters, it's wrong, unlawfully and illegally purporting to be Nasara, Nasara law with authority to release prosperity funds inclusive of those in St. Germain's Trust. Yes, that name appears again. Hence the failure of official announcement of Bona as the interim president, the B. Ings, known as Barack Obama, St. Germain, and others have known from the beginning what the public trust was and is do, capital D, capital O, ing, lowercase in, being and doing. And they had knowledge of the methods and means used by the public trust to secure, guard and preserve and protect the one. Presuming that's Heather. So she thinks. And on December 24th, 2012, the public trust did officially notify them that the public trust was ready to initiate the public announcement process to unlock the hidden value and law by assisting the one to consciously know that they be and they consciously choose by their free will what they do. Doing and being. Where have you heard that song before? This one. Being and doing. Dooby dooby do. <sighs> Not that. On we go. This was on January the 21st, 2013. And another announcement by um, Oops PT. Uh, if and when. An oath and a bond, think of those two words, 
is consciously made, it is known by the powers that were, that those consciously involved in the absolute plan that this oath and bond shall be duly secured and registered. Reg means king. Think about that. And effectively, lawfully and legally replace, uh, replace any and all that were executed for the sole purpose of guarding the one people. Yes, that was why it was called the one people's trust because they thought they are above everybody else with their being and doing then in July 2015 Heather made um, an appearance and did an interview with American Kabuki talking about the Sphere Alliance Oops. <laughs> Are you connecting all the dots now? Now you realise why Randy and I, more so Randy than me, he's put a lot more work into it. I'm um, taking a lot more flack than I have as well. <laughs> um, how, what a giant mess. The alternative media has developed into all the same clowns that were there four years ago are all here again now all spouting the same thing now back in 2013 they promised via the San Germain Trust this is almost as stupid as the um, interdimensional money coming through. Everyone on the planet would receive five billion dollars in gold, said OPPT. Bearing in mind this was in the middle of an economic crisis at the time. Um, people sadly will believe anything to escape from the poverty low pay environment but in reality would that actually have fixed anything who would do the dirty jobs where would the incentives be now some who are in alignment with themselves would ultimately find a better path and better lifestyle but many would follow the programming and this is the problem Let's just spend into oblivion. And sadly, on the lower aspects of life, drugs, alcohol, and consumerism. Now, if you inject any large funds into any financial system, it would collapse. Bear in mind, it's not possible without the assets to support it to begin with. They promised everyone five billion dollars in gold each. Now I mentioned last year about some of the clowns asking in the military asking for 160 trillion from the trust to get America moving again we don't need 160 trillion and if 160 trillion went into our economy it would crash overnight can't support it then uh, the trust people met with one of the top people from Wells Fargo who then asked for around 70 trillion <laughs> to insert into the economy as they thought that they were taking over the now bankrupt Federal Reserve remember that from last fall Wells Fargo thought they were going to take over the bankrupt Federal Reserve and run it themselves 
uh, no. Except even with 70 trillion, the economy would collapse. Banks would close and f- accounts would be frozen to prevent public panic and emptying accounts out due to public concerns. And then you have 1933 all over again. A large injection of any funds, as I said, into the system is only for their benefit. They will pay off their multi-leveraged liens and loans, derivative losses and pay off mercenary groups that are currently circling them due to non-delivery of funds being paid in real money. It would fire up the black projects, again, designed against the people, and the financial cycle of bullshittery, rinse and repeat, would roll out again. But these clowns, OPPT, are telling everyone we're all going to receive five billion in gold. Five billion dollars. Please, please, please shut them down. Do not go on their sites, do not read their articles, and shut off their YouTubes. You, they, you are basically wasting your energy on these clowns, and they're trying to loop you back to 2013. Well, stay away from Heather and Chushi Giraffe, Danny the Effing McKenney, Lisa Harrison, and Brian Kelly. The other two, I don't know whether they're around anymore, Caleb Paul Skinner and Hollis Randall Hilner. Like I said, they like the purpose of the ship, bottom dwellers. Now, I met some people out of the THI group recently, and they were talking about... Um, a health app and uh, they were surprised I was not supporting it and we have to really start thinking deeper all of us on how tech interacts and can interact with us all and its capabilities So they described a scenario with this particular health app. And this again reminds me of 2013 with the guy called Thunder we had on Cosmic Voice that Drake brought on with his holographic pendants that cured this and cured that. One day people will realise you can cure yourself. <laughs> We won't need doctors, nurses, and healthcare plans. So, you basically go on this health app. You then notify the app. Bear in mind, apps are AI, artificial intelligence. Think about that. Of all your illnesses. And they, as we have explained in previous shows, all illnesses are a frequency. What if they don't like you as an individual? What if you're anti-government or anti-cabal? Which we all are. Not that we're against government, we just don't like the current incumbents. Or how it's operated. So you've downloaded to the AI all your illnesses. Now phones are a frequency receiver. Do you not think they can use frequencies that mimic 
that illness back down your phone. Oops. They'll only mimic but increase the pain, the hurt, the sickness, the illness, the disease via the frequencies that they know write down your phone and you signed up for it and people may listen to this show and think they're not capable of that and my answer would be you have no idea what they're capable of too many of us are underestimating drastically what technology can do too many think it's science fiction it's in the future it's in the past all of it AI robots, transhumanism we had a perfect example of a biobot robot on the page today hate to say it but it was all there the two people that I spoke to were shocked when I reported that because they didn't think and this is where we have to start thinking on a deeper level I've repeatedly warned of the dangers of technology since THI started I also was warning it back in Cosmic Voice it's for a reason we failed with technology previously yes some of these apps might can be convenient but at a cost to your health is that convenient weather apps come and get the latest alerts meanwhile they want access to your email texts contacts pictures and files a weather channel stop it stop adding apps to your phone they're not required and they're accelerating what, of what it, in real terms is a declining AI system stop feeding the beast now the next thing I want to make a statement on because it's something that's um, come across my path recently I was asked to help somebody from the UK one of their friends had come to Camp of America was uh, like myself he loved being here loved the idea of being here and um, unfortunately he um, got friendly with a girl who then regretted the two of them making love even though she initiated it and then she made rape allegations I suspect that it's more to do with she's frightened of telling her parents that she's active sexually active so she she has a mask of illusion now this particular person pleads innocence I wasn't there I can't I don't really know the lad too well but the person who asked for my help uh, in the UK does he's not that type but then we don't know we went there but this is becoming um, sadly quite a common occurrence where young lads lives are being devastated 
by females making bogus rape allegations. There's enough women who are legitimately raped without adding that nonsense into it. It's damaging. Some may go into court and not done it. You all know what happens in court. It's all done between lawyers. No, you can have this case. I'll, uh, you let me win the next one. Regardless of justice and what's right and what's wrong. That's the way lawyers operate. They give the illusion that they're fighting each other. I'm fighting on your behalf. In the meantime, they're doing backdoor deals. You can have this one. I want this. I want this particular guy to go on. I don't like his or his or her face. That's how they operate. Not injustice. So I advised the young lad to go back to England because if he's done it he will face three to seven years and rightly so it's a lot more and a lot harsher the prisons here than it is in England but if he hasn't done it in my opinion and I've advised him to go and offer to pay for both of them to have a polygraph test at that point I suspect the girl will break down and admit her wrong but to me that girl should be sentenced one and a half times the rapist if you have raped someone you pay the price you go to jail for X number of years someone accusing something of doing something that heinous where people are always looking and have doubts whether they're proven guilty or not where they run the risk of vigilantes there's always the element of doubt even if they're proven not guilty oh that one he raped that girl he got off at it but I think he did it you've all heard people talk that way but to me that girl should get 10 years because this type of accusation has to be stopped pushing somebody into prison for something they've never done which hampers the rest of their lives they're on sex registers they can't work here they can't work there in fact in reality they can't work anywhere it ruins the whole life and some sort of deterrent has to be put in place to stop that nonsense now subsequently there was an article today um, about rape allegations which appear to be founded and it absolutely astounded me that it's gone on for so long and not got publicity so I'm going to bring it out into the public arena but one in six American freshmen are experiencing rape one in six just short of 17 percent again that has to be stopped again the public are being abused raped pillaged and nobody appears to want to do anything about it because of the mask of the illusion that this school is sets the highest standards and we have to have loads of money to promote that when behind the classroom door one in six American kids are being raped and they ignore it 
to keep the integrity, in inverted commas, of the school. That has to be stopped. Uh, where are we next? Um, <laughs> last bit of our pet piece. And, um, I came across uh, Benjamin Fulford. I don't read him as, as much now. <laughs> um, anyway, Mr. Fulford was speaking of loops. <laughs> Go figure. Uh, funny how that's caught on so quickly, isn't it? But I fully expect coming soon will be a full exclusive world first. Don't forget that now. World first from Gaia TV with Corey and David explaining how we are in a four year loop. So to end it, OPPT, Swiss in though, and those clowns who are promoting Swiss in the, uh, OPPT are linked with Swiss in though, who are human off-world traffickers. Do you really want to listen to Danny Eppin McKenney, who supports human off-world trafficking? Or Lisa Harrison? Because I don't. We've had threats of solar flares again. EMPs, if we haven't had them, expect them. Nibiru will return. Straw man accounts. They didn't work in 2013. They're not going to work in 2017 either. UCC, Nasara, Jessara now. New one, just change the letters. And that came from the one... Who who is called the one who knows jack shit. Literally. The St. Germain Trust has reared its ugly head. We've had certain love and lighters coming out with ascension again. 4D, 5D, maybe a jump to 6, who knows. Archangels will be back out, etc, etc. And the bullshittery just keeps on rolling. Hi all and welcome back to the final hour this evening Well, we're already in it uh, I hope you enjoyed that last hour There's a lot in it um, I'm hoping you see through the illusion of what has taken place And how they're trying to rope you back in to the 2013 anomaly all the same people are there they're all coming back they all vanished the Webbers the Tolex you know, I'm half expecting a reincarnation of Dolores Cannon to come back and talk to Archon Angels and false it's just um, sad and um, we spent a lot of it this show um, THI correcting some of the things that I couldn't correct whilst in cosmic voice it was not my show I tried dipping the toe here and there but ultimately, it was Drake's show. And so he decided which way he wanted to go with certain information about certain people. Um, one thing that we not promised is hopium. There's another one. Hope Girl. And no doubt she'll return soon as well. She was another one of OPPT and more bullshittery. But these clowns are just muddy in the waters. The 
at all are doing. A lot of us in this group have cleared our energies. We've dealt with the shadow sides. You can tell. I can tell. The ones who have, the ones who haven't, and the ones who need a little bit more. But you've at least tried, which is more than can be said for many other people. And yes, I know times are difficult. Finances are tight, jobs are tight. Same applies to me. I got left with a whole heap of debt that basically wasn't mine. But it is what it is, and you just get on with it. So things are not easy for any of us. But that doesn't mean to say we have to lose sight of what's real and what's not. By people promising this funds and that funds and this code and this... On and on and on. Treasury accounts is the latest pile of bullshittery. They were the same four years ago. Just a different name. And that is what they do. Some of the same people are still promoting it. It's not easy when people are struggling and they see the dangling carrot in front of their face. I understand that. But how many times do we fall for the illusion? Part of my uh, concern is was the foundation. That's why I sat on the money for two months before I registered it. Because I didn't want to be and I still don't want to be the next opium. I've said previously the reasons why. There's another example in the intel. If they're raiding the Bank of America and Chase Bank, bear in mind they're two cabal banks. That's how desperate they are. What chance do the People's Club bank accounts have? with a large injection of funds into it none whatsoever and that's the sadness now I understand that it will eventually be delivered once certain I's are dotted and T's are crossed many of them have already been done as I understand things are rather close on many sorts of mini events but until it happens it stays what it is but this show is not easy to do like I said I've squashed more than I've promoted Randy's the same Randy Morgan's we don't like either of us going around discrediting people. But if they're going to sell people bullshit when we're in a time where we need clarity then we're going to stand up. Last night I let in Org tell us mysteriously he left the group no one knows why um, he's not very forthcoming with answers when questioned and he asked me last night could he come back in the group so I did except Org did what I, I expected him to do he hung himself you can't pretend or portend to be of the highest good and go around spouting some of the negativity lies and trash you did today Org you just can't well you can but you've just lost all of your credibility to 
90% of the people. A number of us in the background have been trying to help Org over the last two months. Org's in trouble. Some of the trouble I'll not divulge. It's not for me. It's not important. He's just in trouble. He's already told you he's not himself. So I'm not saying anything new. It's already said he's cloned. So which org are we getting? Clearly today, we didn't get the good version of Org. And my message to him is you were offered the help. Take it. But you badly, badly, badly need help. Org will not be coming on this show. He asked me to do a show next week. And I agreed. But I'm not bringing someone on um, who's making up lies and spitting out information that is not of this timeline. Basically, the information is a mixture of previous timelines and previous loops all mashed together in an AI format and delivered by an AI format that is why it's so voluminous Oak's been in the programs he's admitted that he's told you that the programs have messed him up badly and using crutches in life to fix it is not the way to go Org. blocking people deleting nasty negative comments and then leaving people floating in air who respond in kind is not operating from the highest good you are offered the help take it before it's too late some questions did I also take two weeks off back in 2013 well I didn't take two weeks I was only six days <laughs> uh, no that's although I've had uh, vacations to England um, people will know Visiting family is not always a vacation. <laughs> it's, it's more like a. It's nice meeting family. I'm not uh, discounting that, but you, your time's not your own when you go on vacation yourself. You almost get dragged around and paraded for the time you're there, and you feel obligated, but you don't see them too often. Uh, like I said, I, I love meeting my family, but. It's not really a resting time. But then neither was this last week. <laughs> you know, but I had a good time. So no, I didn't take two weeks off in 2013 or 2012 or 2014, 15 or 16. So, uh, heaven forbid if I did, I missed two shows. There was enough panic in last week. <laughs> Uh, is, what's the relationship between Switzerland and Canada? Um, only that there's certain elements at the top who are intertwined to do with the gold and then the Commonwealth and all that stuff. That's the only thing I, uh, there's no, I can't, I don't have an answer that it's more definitive than that. Is there any truth to the hundredth monkey effect? And if so, um, what would a rough percent 
rough estimate be of how many monkeys we are away from the hundredth one? Critical percentage points of awakened humans waking up the remaining number of organic humans. Um, I'm not going to give numbers because I don't have numbers. Some would argue it's X percent and Y and Z percent. The reality is we've had enough to wake up four years ago. But the reality also is it's us that's stopping it. It's contained in those last three updates I did. We're the ones we're waiting for. We always were. It's about cutting the cord. Not the silver cord. There's another cord. For those of you who astral travel, you'll see it. For those of you who go there, report back to me what you see. You may be surprised. Uh, where are we? I've been hearing over the years about the Lucifer Rebellion. Most of the commentary does not add up or fit together with other knowledge I've come across. Will you be able to clarify this for me in future shows? Uh, Lucifer. I'm going to play um, Sith on the Fence here. Of course, Lucifer is demonized around the world Satan which is not correct uh, Satan is set an Typhon set sat in That's where the term Santa came from it's just a plain words but Lucifer, Lucifer is not Satan Now there are some theories that Lucifer is good, I like being, and there's a lot that says not. There are some that suggest that Lucifer was female, and the real name is Luciferia. Again, it's up to you which way you go with it. The they're basically what I know. But the th main theory is that Lucifer was tricked by higher elements. And all the blame went on to Lucifer. He or she made a mis big mistake. But we all make mistakes in life. Does that mean we have to be demonized for the rest of time? Maybe not. So I can't really put a definitive this is what I believe because I wasn't around at that time. None of us were. Some have, some have memories, some don't. But the Lucifer is not Satan. It's Set An. And that particular being entity was removed from there. Sat In in 2015. Read up on the myths. I think Chloe's covered this before. In the Saturn Moon Matrix document. Set Typhon. So check that out. Would the Vatican make a good museum 
after we deport its occupants. Um, now, the heinousness of the things that have gone on in that place, both physically, verbally, and in spoken word and written word and when the full knowledge comes out about that place what they've done chasing down Magdalene killing her Radomir and some of the other more enlightened beings that have come here to help humanity escape the system that they hunted down and burnt them alive and have the audacity to sit there in mass spouting how good they are the Vatican or the Roman Church spent 300 years burning large parts of Europe. It killed many, many, many thousands of people. Much of that history has not been revealed. Get rid of the people, create a new history in their image. Let's have a plague. Drought, famine, wars, all came, as they say, all roads lead to Rome. Yes, indeed. So I don't want, I can't see how you can remove the field of negativity and heinousness out of that building and its many floors below and put it to good purpose because the stench and depth of the depravity from that place is known to very few Welcome back, my friend. Uh, welcome back to you as well. Um, Lord Tellers posted about how men should not ejaculate for the next two months, as this would keep us bridged between the two worlds, as I understood. Really. Um, perhaps Org should visit the Jizz woman, the senator from Texas. Ah, dear me. Please get help. Org. Destroying the good work that you've done. Uh, are the few men whom making, building, creating the new earth are us in that realm? Some, as far as I can say in that. Someone asked me who created the prime creator source. I said that he didn't know and would like my thoughts on it. Um, it's chicken and the egg, isn't it? But there's lots of prime creators or sources dependent on the multitude of universes in essence we all create it because as you go through and not so much in here it's rather difficult to evolve in this current system that we're in it won't be in the future you learn
learn all your lessons to be able to develop to become your own prime creator you then you can go and create your own universe it's a long way from being 3D but there's some of us in here now who used to do that very thing move stars with thought move planets with thought Each and every one of you who listens to this show has the ability on a soul level to be a prime creator, depending on your life lessons. Now, according to Tanath, she believes that this particular prime creator was inexperienced and messed up badly. I don't think any of us who have gone through the, this particular 3D life construct will make that mistake again. Because we will remember when we get out. So the answer is you. Does the next portal activate, opens when we become organic or reach the 100%? We already are. It's just we haven't believed it yet. We already are. It's already here. Don't take my word for it. See for yourself. See. S-double-E. In inverted commas. Like I put in the update. Learn to fly. You will see. The big talk now is about accessing our Federal Reserve Trust account. It seems to be working for some independently, but they... There are those trying to get us to fill out UCC documentation. Are these documents a scam? And if so, how? Uh, I don't believe it. I, don't, I haven't had much chance to investigate it. But the bits I have, it's just another um, new boss, same as the old boss. You just transfer your whole asset based from the Vatican, UN, World Bank, IMF nonsense to another group of clans. And they then re assetize you with their and collect the funds. Some may well get some funds out of it. But at what cost? Because once those funds are out, you've got nothing left. Drake warned about this when over the straw man accounts. You may get a load of funds. Well, actually most people got jail. That applied for it. Was we still operating? Was we still haven't removed the just us system? All of us are entitled to an awful lot of money that's been stolen from us. Even if you just go on the earlier story, one billion a day for 18 years, stolen, our money. That needs, really needs to be paid back. But where does it end? Every single energy bill 
each and every one of us listening to this show, including your grandparents, have paid energy bills fraudulently because we had free energy in 1906. How do you get all your electric or gas or coal built back? What, what value will it have? And then, all born after 1933, all your income tax back, how can you pay that back? But technically it's all owed to us. You're talking multi-millions. But it had no value, would it? Never mind that it would crash the whole system or whether they would, uh, are able to generate sufficient asset sell-off to give us it back. There'd be nothing left. But the people that are striving for the change are largely operating behind the scenes at the moment are going to do their best and are doing their best to ensure we have a better lifestyle going forward. And the idea of having multi-billions or millions it's really not helpful to humanity as all it will do is lead us into that cycle again of spending for the sake of it showing off to your friends, family or neighbours competing and we've all done it myself included and then the clowns get the money back because there's loads in the system and they take it back off us and then we're back into the same situation we've got now only the other have learned how to take us down. But we have to be ultra careful. I mean, two warnings tonight. Technology and funds. The funds are to improve people's lives. There's maybe as much as 75% of the people on this planet who haven't got what we we have which is a roof over our heads some food some money some are more poor than others but there's a lot of people around the world who would love just what you've got people who listen to this show knowing they have clean water ish knowing They'll have one, two or three meals a day. There's so many around the world who don't even have that. That has to stop. And it will. When shielding, I'm having trouble visualising. Does that mean I'm not protected? Um, no, you have a protection field called the um, the PSI field, PSI field, which is for the soul spirit that goes out of the night. Um, I would suggest that um, your brain is too active when doing it. If you're unable to visualise, it means you've got too much chatter going on in your brain. learn to quieten the chatter and you'll be able to see a lot more than you realise what do you know about the Swedish Wallenberg family is there a connection with the Wallenberg Wall and Berg and Wall Street some say they're almost up there with the Rothschilds they financed both the Bolsheviks and the Nazis and also ordered Ivan Kruger's suicide. 
Sweden is the country with the oldest governor bank and the first country to give out prints instead of coins. Still today, Sweden plays an essential role when it comes to, to the bankster part of the cabal. They also export the highest amount of military weapons per capita. Um, to be quite honest, I hadn't heard too much about them. I did a quick check. They're, they're not. They're all interconnected in some way. But the Sweden, I mentioned it earlier, are part of the Germanics, who have played a large role in the finances and troubles and wars and control system in Europe and then transferred it to America. The kings of Sweden. Holland, Finland, Norway, not a coincidence, they're all interlinked, the Vikings, VI, six kings is the real meaning behind that term, not Vikings, Six kings. It's all them same countries. It's all part of the frill, the fuel, going back even further, the Aldebrans that were linked with the Nazis. They were also linked with the Nordics, which is Sweden, Finland and Norway. It's all the same group. They'll all have different names of Wallenberg. Could be a derivative of Warburg. One of the 13 families. They all change the name around. And hope we just forget. So thanks for giving us a bit of an update from Sweden. I hope uh, that answer was good enough. Um, but they need to be careful up in the Baltics. A lot of fun and games. Is it true that the August 21st eclipse will include the Earth alignment with the Galactic Center? No. And will a benchmark for up and coming, will it be a benchmark for up and coming astounding events? It could trigger some smaller ones. Um, I don't know for the definite but it's not um, in alignment with the galactic centre uh, this is more of a statement than a question but uh, we'll read it out the physical dimension is too clever but I don't think easy to manifest if you are stuck it waits until you pick up a book load a game or watch television rather than changing material things this overcomes our genetic endurance. How may we ever get out of this mess under these circumstances? Uh, the answer is go within. We're already out in real terms. You just don't see. Once you start seeing, then the overlay. I've already seen some examples around the world of the overlay. You're going to see that a lot more as more and more cut the cord. So, uh, Tan goes on and says, I say the frequency has to change before humans can change. It already has changed. The frequency has changed drastically in here, which is why the parents have gone insane. The ones that are left. Um, it's not physically possible the other way around. So the frequency has to change before humans can change. Um, frequency has and some of humanity has changed all change stays in our imagination 
Well, if you use your imagination, you can also manifest the change. Um, I have a few friends that did the uh, social security thing to pay credit cards, mortgages, bills, and I'm worried about them. Uh, please tell me they won't be arrested for doing this after we have been screwed every way imaginable. Um, whether it will go that far that they'll get arrested um, remains to be seen. Um, it, de- it just depends on the influence they may throw out. See, this is how on a bigger scale how they use inducements and they prompt like they, they've done with the cabal they promise titles and wealth and women and male studs and all kinds of other jewellery and you know uh, dying with the stars and all that rubbish and people who are weak in that way will fall for it and ignore what's going on around them because they felt they've achieved their goals of being famous or being wealthy or being titled. And the same applies to us. They'll throw a few carrots out and maybe one or two will get it and then they'll start. And that's how they end up arresting whole groups of people. If it was going to work, like I said, I'm not, I haven't gone fully into it. I've read an article on it that condemns it and it looks valid to me. I understood, got the grasp of it. I think Anna Bond Wrights did one this week. It's just signing up for the whole team again. Same as four years ago. Nasara, Jessar and all the, all the others. None of it worked then. Why is it going to work now? There's loads of funds that I do know. I've seen the evidence of the funds. There's loads of wealth that belongs to all of the people that will be released in a steady manner to the people once these clowns have gone. And that's the reality as I understand it. Um, what do you think of the concept of use your life to prepare for your death or in other words once we are free thoughts become actualized instantly and a case of be careful what you wish for yeah only you think you're not free Lots of things have changed. Some would like more change. Some don't believe there's any change. They're manifesting their own destiny. Even over the period of, what is it now, 14 months of GHI, I've seen the change in the people from Cosmic Voice. You know yourself you've changed. Not because of me. I may play a small role in it. But because of you. If you lay it out to fly. And go on the right way. Everything you imagined is all, is on the other side of fear. And lastly, it's fear that's keeping the now defunct paradigm AI control system in some sort of reality, but it actually it's not. They've programmed us to not like change. Well, it's inconvenient. I don't want to move banks. 
too much messing with paperwork. I don't want to change insurance companies. I don't. I hate it living here, but I can't be bothered with all that messing around, moving. In other words, stay stuck where you are, whether you're happy or not. Oh, I hate this job, but we all stay stay in the same job for too long. You know, we we all hate it, myself included. I'm not. Um, without blame also. But it's up to us as individuals to be the change. It was always about us. You are the saviour. Can you and will you save yourself? And then pass on your knowledge and become the way shower to others. That's the ultimate goal of all of us. And you can't do that. Living your life full of masks of illusion. And this is why they're all coming down. If the raw version of you that you've hidden is not particularly nice, you better change quickly. Because people will see more than perhaps you wanted to. But it's the only way we can go forward in any source of truth and improvements of lives. By being true to yourself. Balance that ego. Get rid of the insecurities. Get rid of the fears. Get rid of all the other illusions that you carry around you. How you present yourself to people. I've got this fancy car that makes me rich. Might be material wise. But destitute consciousness wise. What has the most value? The car or you? It was always you. Right, I think that's a convenient time, I think. Let me just check me we if there's any questions there. Uh, any news to report regarding the filing of paperwork for the new financial system? Um, that's already done. It's just waiting for the transition phase of out of the old and in with the new. And you can't take place with thieves running around the planet. Just can't. Right. If you read life, where are we? I've forgotten that I haven't had it out for two weeks. <laughs> Sounds like great now. If you lead life in love and care, you will prevail. If you lead life in fear and anger, you will fail. Feel free for you to be the person you wish to be, not the person who conforms to what others want them to be. So in other words, stop being the illusion. Be yourself. You are a multi-dimensional being operating simultaneously on many levels. You are not here to conform. You are not here to be stifled. You are certainly not here to be enslaved. And you are not here to be abused. I'm going to add another one in, given uh, what took place today. And you're not here to be judged by any tribunal either. Or to compete with your friends, family or neighbours. You are here to be the best you can be and do so as a crown of creation. Now go out with the confidence of who and what you are and excel in so. 
excel in yourself and in doing so inspire others like I said earlier everything you ever wanted is on the other side of fear well I enjoyed that show I'm glad to be back I hope you all enjoyed it we'll be back on Sunday with uh, an evening with Thomas with Patrick Pepper at uh, 4.30 I think I'll have to double check